Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to TBR Cluedo! I haven't filmed TBR Cluedo in so long because I pre-filmed February's and March's and it's made me nervous. <laughs> it's made me feel very nervous. Please don't make me think too hard about it because I don't know what I'm expecting and I just want it to be great. Yeah, it's made me feel kind of nervous being out of the loop, having not filmed one in a while, and giving my reading fate over to TBR Cluedo. But welcome. This is my TBR game that we use to pick some of the books I read every month. There's different rooms that relate to a genre, and then there's books that relate to a prompt, and then I have to read a book that is that genre and fulfills that prompt, is the way that it works. I'm really enjoying my reading at the moment. I'm having a lot of fun with my reading, and so I'm excited to see what books we end up pulling for TBR Cluedo. So yeah, we're gonna hand over to TBR Cluedo to pick what I read this month, but before before we get into that, I want to chat to you guys about something I'm going to be doing throughout April actually, a little challenge I'm doing that some of you may be interested in. So I've been saying recently, coming into springtime, I start to feel myself defrost. <laughs> I start to feel myself feeling happier, my mood is coming up, I'm sleeping better, I feel more rested, I feel more uh, energetic during the day. And I often find that my motivation to do things that take care of myself, that take care of my well-being, kind of return at this time and I want to take full advantage of that. And so so I'm going to be doing a challenge where I do meditation every single day for 30 days and I'm going to be using today's video's partner Aura to do so. And so if like me you want to take advantage of this new feeling I challenge you guys to come along with me try doing this 30 days of meditation challenge and use Aura to do so. I cannot recommend Aura enough. I love it. Aura is a new mindfulness and sleep app that has thousands of meditations and stories and so much more like CBT, life coaching, breath work and it has made such a big difference to me. I love the personality. There is so much variety in class types, in class leaders, in the types of courses that you can do on there. Aura for me is the perfect meditation and mindfulness app because of that variety, because you can really find something that works for you. There's a lot of options. There's lots of different types of meditation to try out. I cannot recommend it enough. Meditation for me makes such a big difference in the way that I live my life. It makes me a better person. It makes me a better partner, a better friend, a better daughter. And so I really want to share that with you guys. I want my platform to be a place of positivity and I really believe that this is really would have a wonderful impact on your life. So join me. Why don't you join me to do 30 days of meditation? You can get started for completely free on Aura using my special link down below. The first 500 people to do so will get a free trial and then exclusive 25% off after that free trial has ended. So make sure you check it out because I think they're going to go quickly. So yeah, join me this journey. Feel free to DM me or tag me if you're using it, if you're trying it out. I cannot recommend it enough. I can already feel I've been doing some meditations the past few days in terms of gearing up for this 30 day challenge and I've already found that it's making a huge difference to the way that I'm living my life. Okie dokie, let's get into TBR Cluedo and let's get into roll one. Okay, time for roll one. Why do I feel so nervous? <laughs> what? Okay, person number four, which is pink up here in horror. Let's see how many we roll. Ah, we got, oh that was a four. I rolled it over, please forgive me. I <laughs> got two and a four. Okay, I am just gonna go one, two. And that is number 11, and that is a book with plants or an animal on the cover. Roll number one was a horror that has plants or animals on the cover, and I'm going for Ask for Andrea by Noel W. Illy? I'm not sure how I pronounced that last name. But we have got plants, Your Honor. We have got plants! <laughs> This is an interesting book. I don't want to talk too much about my journey with this book because it's coming up in a vlog soon that like I've begun but I think is going to be a little bit delayed. So I don't want, I think the journey, I'm just going to give you a tease, I'm going to be reading this book in the next, 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 next amount of time and I'm very very excited. We're following three women, I'm not sure if this is classed as more thriller or horror, I think it's kind of like straddling the line between the two, but we've got three women who were all murdered by the same man. He hunted them online masquerading as an elderly bachelor then he played the perfect gentleman then he killed them so I think we're reading from them as like ghosts but also maybe them in the past and like the story of him wooing them this has been pitched to me as very similar to no exit which you know <laughs> for me one of the perfect thrillers but I think this has got like that paranormal maybe a bit more of a horror aspect to it spooky ooky, cokey, and creepy 
I'm really excited to see what I think of this. Like I said, I'll explain more why I'm so excited at a vlog that's coming soon. But um, I've got a lot of reasons to believe that I could enjoy this. And you know, this is kind of like, I think it's self-published or at the very least it's very much like indie published. And so I'm excited to give a book like this a go. I'm very, 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 very excited to see what I think of this one. Roll number two. Oh, person number seven, which is brown up here in mystery. Oh my God, I'm like knocking everything over today. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Let's see how many we roll. We've got a three or a one. Let's go, what can I get to in that? Let's go one, two, three, four. And that is number seven, which is a book with under 6,000 ratings on Goodreads. Role number two was a mystery with under 6,000 ratings. And this is the role that I gave to my patrons to vote on. They vote on one round of TBL Cluedo every month. And that ends up being our book club pick as well. So the options I gave them were Murder at Holly House by Denzel Mayrick. The Death I Gave Him by MX Lou. The Village of Eight Graves by Sashi Yokomizo, And The Headmaster's List by Melissa De La Cruz. And the winner with almost half half of the vote is The Death I Gave Him by M. X. Lu. I'm very, very excited for this one. I mean, I'm excited for, I, I think she's excited for fucking everything. You know, that meme, roll it. <laughs> I think she was just genuinely excited about fucking everything. This has been a book I've wanted to read since before it came out. It was one I think it was in my like most anticipated releases when I put those out. This is a Hamlet retelling. It's sci-fi, locked room, murder mystery. And it's got, and it's got footnotes. <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered the footnotes. So we've got a character whose father is killed and it's like in a locked room with a lab on lockdown. And this character is trapped with four other people who one of them is his father's killer. And he has to figure out like, what is going on? How do I find out the secrets of this building? Oh my God. <laughs> This is like giving me heart palpitations. Oh, the footnotes. The footnotes are so Gagatrondra, you know what I mean? The footnotes are so Gagatrondra. And there's an artificial intelligence who is the protagonist's dear friend, dear God. So this has had, you know, a little lowish ratings. I think it's got like a 3.4 average rating, which isn't super high, but I do think it could be just some people not getting it. You know, some people not getting the vibe. I regularly read books that have got super low average ratings and I love them, I love them. So I think it's just some people failing to get the vibe and failing to like be one of the girls, you know what I mean? So I'm really excited for this. Sci-fi, locked room, murder mystery. I believe this is a debut, so I will give it like a little bit of leeway in terms of that, but, I think this is gonna be a very exciting book to read. Oh my God, I'm getting up on my tippy toes, I'm so excited. I'm intrigued to see how this kind of ambitious project comes to fruition. Okay, one number three, person number three, which is red up here in historical. See me roll, I've got one and two. I'm just gonna go one and I'm gonna get the magnifying glass, which means recommended by a viewer. Roll number three was the magnifying glass, which means I have to go on my most recent All My Unread Books video, which I lasted in November. I have to randomize the comments and the first comment I get recommending me a book, I have to read it. <laughs> anyway, so I'm in control, but I'm out of control and I'm also um, controlled. So in a way I'm everything. <laughs> I don't do this one very often because I find it a bit scary, but I guess we're doing it. Shall we just do it? I've got a random ra YouTube comment randomizer thing up. <laughs> what am I hoping for? Who knows, honestly. <laughs> okay. <gasps> oh my God. 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 Throwback by Maureen Goo is one of my favorite books of this year. It was so good. Come for the time travel hijinks, save for the intergenerational trauma and complex parent-child family dynamics. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you, Leanne. I'm assuming that's, where, 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 where the, sorry. I'm like, I'm stressing out by the fact I have no idea where that book is. Okay, we've got it. I am so, this was such a result. <laughs> this is a book I've been like looking at recently and thinking, oh, I'd really like to read that. How am I gonna fit that into a video? <gasps> what a result, what a result. Thank you so much. So this book, throwback, I got because when I did my video with Courtney Summers, who is, if you guys know, one of my favorite authors, I did a video where Courtney picked what I read and she recommended this book to me personally. She was like, I think you're really gonna enjoy this book. It's about a girl who always has butted heads with her mother and she travels back in time to the 90s alongside se her 17 year old mother. So it's like time travel and I guess her figuring out, you know, her mother and then bonding and understanding each other. And listen, if Courtney Summers has recommended me this book, 
we're gonna we're gonna enjoy it. <laughs> we're gonna love it. I this is such a result. Oh my god. I'm with with like ones like this where it picks randomly what I'm gonna read. I'm always worried that it's gonna be a book that I'm not as interested in. But this is one I'm so currently interested in. So thank you so much for the pick. I think this is gonna be a great pick and I cannot wait to read it. I think it's gonna be emotional, fun, lighthearted, but like serious. Oh my god. Yay! Okay, that's so exciting. Roll number four. Person number one over here, just green. I did quite a lot of fantasy to read. Oh dear. We've got a one and a four. Let's just go one, two, three, four, five. That is number three. What is number three? I have to scroll up. Hang on one second. <laughs> number three. Oh fuck. Roll number three is start a new series. Okay. Roll four was a fantasy and I have to start a new series. <laughs> You're joking. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly, I can't stand this. And I'm going to be reading She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. This is one I've kind of forgotten the synopsis because I think it's kind of just like chosen one fantasy, kind of? I think it's about a girl who's always been told that her brother was the chosen one and there's an, a, there's an attack or something and he passes away and she disguises herself as him or as someone similar to him or as just as a boy and is cast into this war-torn world. I'm intrigued by this one. I feel like a lot of people who have enjoyed this have loved it. I feel like enough time, I, mean, this is the hard, I got the hardback, I, I might have even pre-ordered this, I don't remember. I feel like enough time has passed between me being interested in this initially and now present reading it that I'm kind of going into it as like a fresh book. Do you know what I mean? I'm going into it with fresh eyes. I'm not necessarily like expecting anything in particular. And I think that might actually work well with me in this book. So this is a series. I can't remember if it's a duology. I feel like it's a duology, but it could also be longer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Megan, for that insight. Yep, 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 yep. You sound rather stupid to me, you know. You know, you're sort of person. You had a brain, you'd be dangerous there. Please let me know what you thought of this one because it's one that I'm excited to kind of reintroduce myself to when reading it. Okie dokie, roll number five, person number two, that is purple in romance. Let's see how many we roll. We've only got two or a one. So I think we've just got to go one. <laughs> and that is number 14, which is, oh, a favorite author. Okay, I know what I need to pick for that. Okay, okay, roll number five, favorite author, romance. <laughs> I think we all know what I had to choose. I didn't really have a choice in the matter. Love theoretically, but anyway, here's what do yeah! Do I have plans to read this? No. Am I gonna try and read this at some point? Oh, of course, it's on the TBI, I have to. <laughs> this book, I almost read for my first book of the year. Didn't. I almost read for you guys pick what I read, episode of Year of Rex. Didn't. So I think it's gonna be third time a charm with me in this book. I read the first chapter of this for that first video of the year. And I loved it. I immediately was like kicking my feet, giggling at the chemistry between these characters. This one is about this woman who's like dating for hire and she's fake dating this guy's brother. And so she's introduced in the first chapter, she's introduced to his family as his brother's girlfriend and he's sussing it out. He's like, you're not dating my brother. And he like catches her out in lies. And I was like, hee hee hee. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. So I am, I love Ali. Okay. I love Ali. I've given all the books five stars. I've upped, I've upped Love on the Brain to five stars. I've given every Ali Hayes what I've read, apart from the novellas, five star. And I just think this is going to be five star as well. It's time. It's time. I need to get a grip and like accept that it's time. I am so beyond excited to read this. I love everything you do, Ali. I love you. Like no one gets the romance like you do, apart from maybe Abby Jimenez is a new one up there for me. Abby Jimenez and you, Ali. Oh, the things you do to me. Like, she just gets it. She's that girl, you know? You're that girl. I knew you were. I just used that in a different video. That's why it's on my brain, but like, <laughs> I'm not gonna use it again. Anyways, I'm so excited. I love Ali. I love everything she does. And I'm so excited to read this book. And our final roll, person number seven, which is brown up here in mystery. Okay. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a five and a six. Okay. Where can we I do what can I get to in the room? <laughs> Sometimes when I have too much choice, I'm like, what the fuck? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is number 12, which is all oh, a title with alliteration. What can I what can I do with that? 
And then the final book on our TBR was, what was it? A mystery, oh, with alliteration in the title. I got lucky. I got lucky in this, because I think this is a difficult prompt, a very, very difficult prompt to fulfill. And we're lucky that I have something on my TBR that I've been delayed in reading. I've been delayed in reading it. I've had to push this video back and I'm reading it this coming month. So it's kind of all worked out well. So I'm gonna be reading Pride and Premeditation by Terza Price. I put this, I think, on my spring TBR, so I've spoken to you about this quite recently. It's a murder mystery, Pride and Prejudice retelling. Aren't we all so excited? Yes, it's YA, that the writing is where we could fall down, but in terms of the plot, Oh my god, has a book ever been more perfect for me? I don't think so. So Lizzie and Darcy in this are both working as lawyers at opposing firms and there's a murder and they're both trying to solve it. I'm so excited. And so this is part of a wider series where there's two other uh, Jane Austen retellings that are murder mysteries. And then I think she's doing a spin-off series of this book. So I'm kind of starting two series by starting this, but that's forget that. I have a lot of hope for this one. I'm loving reading Jane Austen inspired things. A Jane Austen murder mystery. Oh, it just sounds absolutely perfect to me. I love the cover. I am so, 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 so excited for this. I have very, very high hopes for it. So there we have it, everyone. A nice orange and green. Apart from Oscar Andrea, it's kind of throwing the vibes off, but like pink, orange, green. Nice. Let's just take Oscar Andrea out for a second because I really like the colour coordination of this TBR. I'm like kind of eating it up. So yeah, please let me know what you thought of any of these books because I'm going to be reading them all very, very soon. Um, if you've gotten to the end of the video, comment an orange or green heart emoji. Remember to check out my link down below to start your challenge, your meditation challenge with Aura. Are you going to be doing it along with me? Let me know. Let me know if you are. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!